Hi, Aries. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your reading. If you are new to my channel, I'm Amber. If you are returning, I want to welcome you back. Um, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs of Aries for the month of December. I have a couple of brief announcements before um, I get into your reading. Uh, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case may be, you may have missed it, but I launched my website. So if you want to book a personal reading, you can do so at www.unveiledbyamber.com. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video, to my channel, especially if the reading resonates with you. Um, I am having a Black Friday sale on the website. You can use uh, the code that is in the description box down below. I also have merchandise, so um, that's always uh, available on the website as well you can use the same discount code for both your personal reading and uh, merchandise that you find in my store um let's see the turnaround for my readings right now is about seven days um sometimes i get them out a lot quicker but for the most part the turnaround is seven days um you can follow me on Instagram at unveiledbyamber.com. Let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think there was anything else. Aries. The topic is wages of war. Okay. However, I don't really feel like the message is for you. I feel like the message is for the people that you are connecting with, surrounded by, left in the dust, etc., etc., okay? I definitely feel like there's some sort of commotion that's going on around you. I feel an energy of a lot of suitors. Um, and, you know, I just, I kind of see and feel Aries just kind of sitting pretty and just watching the rumble, these are the wages of war, okay? Um, I feel an energy, too, of, you know, a true, true and sincere soulmate. Out of these suitors that could be coming in your direction, there is one, okay? There is one that is worth the price. So, just be mindful that Lazarus season is not over. No, it's not. All right, but we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, thank you for allowing me to be the vessel for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is the strongest message in their love life? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations in the plural, all right? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other bottom of the deck you have unrequited love okay i definitely feel like there are going to be a lot of people that are gunning for your attention gunning for your time your emotions your affection um your forgiveness all right aries for a lot of you guys you know these are people who tended to be very flighty in the time, in the space that they did have your your undivided attention. Um, and they are definitely planning to fly back in. Okay. Heart to heart conversations. Tell me about the energy of the people, persons, or situations surrounding Aries. Too many cards it was express your love and religious factors okay tell me about the situations soulmate i'm telling you somebody realizes yes this is your soulmate bottom of the deck you have playfulness um aries that you know this is the, the there there are like there's for some of you guys it's just two people but i really really feel that for some of you guys, it could be three or four people who like maybe over this year, you've had, you know, maybe not the best luck in love. 
Um, you could have been forced to kind of test the waters. Like maybe you had an idea or a desire to have a committed relationship with one particular person and then that didn't work out. And you were fine. You were like, whatever, I'm over it. And then some way, somehow you ended up falling into another like situationship, friendship, circumstance, whatever, with another individual. I really feel like this has pretty much been the theme for you, Aries. Um, over this course and um, there's one particular person it's definitely not a new person I don't feel the vibration of a new person I feel the energy of somebody who you already know one of these people is going to come back around and they truly are the one okay um, let me pull these first tell me what's so we're in the 12th month I'm focusing on the 12th house okay which is about the subconscious mind it's about compassions. It's also about self-sacrifice, illusions, dreams, things of that nature. All right. So I'm pulling cards for what is going on in Aries' subconscious mind. Keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Now, this is so crazy because when I was getting ready to do your reading, I heard loud and clear wages of war. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to write that down. I'm going to wait till I get to the end of the reading and then I'm going to pick a title. The five of wands came out. The two of wands with like, you know, there's the traditional rider weight with the two of wands. And you have that young lady who's blindfolded, whatever. She's got two swords. This came out in the after tarot. So it's someone sitting there blindfolded with their hands behind their back. And there are two gentlemen in front of this blindfolded individual and they are having a bit of a competition a sword battle whatever the case may be and i was thinking to myself i was like wages of war that couldn't be the message for aries i'm like and then i thought about it i'm like oh i get it aries is more so the land the prize the territory that they are uh, finding themselves battling for, okay? So for keepers of the earth to come out here, it's very much so in alignment with um, <laughs> with what I was feeling for you. This is interesting because there are two uh, eagles on here. And honestly, the, the eagle is symbolic for me. At, at least for me, it's very symbolic, uh to the Aries and look it's like you have went into some sort of meditative space you went into some level of peace some process of healing um and it's been very quiet and now everybody is coming back around tell me what the subconscious energy is of the partner persons or situationship surrounding Aries just one card spirit just one card pillar of light look at the omens your vibration is rising you are the oracle now wow bottom of the deck you have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious she's bathing in what looks to be uh like a cup of champagne the other deck you have playfulness to recapture romance and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? Now, on these two cards, now even though I asked about the subconscious mind of your partner, it's crazy that this card actually looks like a distant version of this card. It's like whatever you're focused on, this person wants to focus on it too. I'm just giggling, Aries, because I think that you are going to get the last laugh. Bottom of the deck, there you are. Okay. Showing up and showing out. Tell me why heart-to-heart -heart conversation is here. Yep, the moon. Okay, definitely could have something to do with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I definitely feel like there is some sort of window that's going to be opening for you or this person to relay some type of truth that was withheld um, in the past.
be very mindful. There are a few um, energies that I feel are trying to get you into some place of privacy. It's uh, kind of coming off as a manipulative energy. Like, I don't feel like there's any danger. I don't feel like there's any danger, but, you know, it's it's kind of an energy. Like, when I'm looking at the bottom of this, it's like, be careful what you drink. Be careful what you eat uh, with other people from other people in this time, Aries. I definitely feel like you are open and receptive and susceptible to other people's intentions. Um, with the moon being here, it definitely is about being very in touch with your emotions right now. Just be very careful who you choose to be vulnerable to. Tell me about keepers of the earth, please. Leo could be dealing with a cancer Leo cusper. Could be dealing with any of the other fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> the energy of, you know, a Leo is very playful. Interestingly enough, you have playfulness here and you have play. For some of you guys, that definitely could ring a bell. I feel like for a lot of you, um, the person that is the one you could have had uh, more of a lighthearted experience with, you know, like this could have been someone that you met at some type of like party, a group gathering, you could have had drinks with this person. It, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of like chattering, um, like you could have been in some type of like pool hall, a club, that sort of thing. Uh, a mixer that type of thing you could have you know met or ran into this person definitely um because of another person a friend um it could be someone who not really is older than you but i feel like if this was a situation with a friend one of you guys is much more mature than the other tell me about pillar of light being here mm. You have opposition, balance coming out in the reverse, okay? This is about relating. It's about mirroring. This is also my twin flame card, okay? Um, it's about interactions, confronting, you know, that type of thing, facing fears. This is what the partner is going through right now. The person that you're coming into union with, the person that you're energetically connected to, they're in a place where they're not quite ready to face their fears, um, but there's something that they are becoming more conscious of, and I feel like it has a lot to do with your healing process, Aries. Um, this is definitely... Um, a peace like this coming out in reverse is is very much so like a peacemaking card for me um you know because if you are face to face with someone it tends to create a level of tension um this could have been someone who you got into some type of argument with or a disagreement or whatever in the past and you guys just kind of left it where it was there was never like an energy of a reconciliation this person wants to make peace with you tell me about the soulmate mm -hmm. mercury okay rules of the it's it's a third house energy for me communication immediate environment so definitely like i was saying a moment ago this could be someone who you met while you were with family brothers sisters co-workers friends that sort of thing right now though this is coming out as an issue this person does not really know what to think or what to say of this situation. And so they're keeping uh, their distance. But I definitely, uh, wow, bottom of the deck, you have seventh house, which is about relationships. This person's going to come into you. Um, but be careful because I definitely am feeling like there are some false suitors that are going to come in first, okay? Why is the moon here? What is this heart-to-heart -heart conversation? Six of Wands, another Leo energy, Jupiter and Leo to be exact. This is about this person um, wanting to be rewarded. And it may sound selfish. It could definitely... 
I don't mean any harm to my cross watchers, but it could definitely be a Leo. Okay, they are not selfish. I don't really see Leos as being selfish, but they can be perceived to be selfish. Okay, with the Six of Wands energy, it's kind of like I'm sensing a person who is feeling like they had to go through a process of suffering without you, but it was very much so a decision that they made. This person may have been very stoic, emotionally unavailable in the past, and it's like this person wants to come to you now and they they want to they want you to basically uh pay them back for the time lost that that type of thing you could definitely be dealing with someone who's a cancer leo cusper because the leo energy is very playful fiery it's very self-efficient okay leos are not one of those uh people that tend to um need someone else but if this is a cancer leo cusper um, they could very much so, you know, teether in between being very self-efficient and being a little bit needy, that type of thing. Being very stoic and brave and courageous and being very, like, um, subtle, uh, tender, nurturing, that type of thing. Why is the Six of Wands here? King of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. Definitely could be dealing with a fire water sign cusper. This could even be uh, like that Pisces Aries cusp. Cancer Leo cusp. What's the other one? Sagittarius Scorpio cusp. Bottom of the deck, you have the Chariot. This person definitely wants to move quickly. Okay, King of Cups here. I think too that this person may have in the past been a little bit focused on a, a follicky type of nature. Like they could have been the ones that were testing the water. They could have had other suitors. There could have been a level <clears throat> of competition, but this person has decided that you won. Well, they feel that way, but I don't really think that you feel that way about them right now, Aries. And I don't, I don't really sense any animosity. It's just more of a like, oh, so now you want to come back around. It's it's that type of energy. Be careful of your ego. Okay, be careful of this person's ego. I definitely feel like this person could have a bit of an inflated ego. Could be very good looking. This could be a person that doesn't really need to command the energy of others. They're just highly sought after. And thus, there could have been a lot of competition in the past. Um, yeah, interesting. When I'm looking at this King of Cups card here, right? It's like you can't really see his eyes clearly in the camera. But he's side-eyeing the dolphin back here. In the meantime, there's, you know, this offer, this gesture of love, whatever. But I don't really see any love in this cup. It's an empty cup, you know. Um, and in the meantime, he's holding on to, like, his sorcerer. It, it's, it, it's, it's an energy of, you know... With, I really feel like this person may have had some sort of relationship during the time that you guys have spent apart and they ended up realizing that that is a well that ran dry a long time ago. Um, and so now they're wanting to break down barriers and boundaries to come into you. Um, hence, I feel like you're the dolphin swimming off in the background, enjoying the water, being very much so in touch and content with your emotions as well as your a relationship status right now but this person is eyeing this dolphin for me dolphins are very symbolic of uh harmony togetherness you know typically when you see a dolphin uh jumping in the water you normally will see a couple of them coming behind they tend to travel you know as a family as a pack that type of thing i definitely feel like this person has all of that on their mind with the ace of wands though being here separate from the six of wands i do feel like there is still some level of uh competition um you know you may be 
you may actually come across a new person. But we'll find out. I'll read into the soulmate energy. I don't really feel like there's a new person that's going to come along that is the one. If it is, it's someone that you still, you already met them. You already know them. Um, you've seen them somewhere or you know of them through somebody else. Tell me about uh, Keepers of the Earth with Leo energy being here. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Definitely the Keeper of the earth okay this person like i was telling you with this uh dolphin here it's an energy of like traveling in a pack a family harmony that type of thing that's quite literally what the ten of pentacles is about but this person is wanting to materialize the idea of traveling in a pack with you you know tell me i knew it i fucking knew it the seven of uh swords is here One of these people that you're dealing with could already be married. So definitely I would do, you know, your research with the lover card here. You could be this person's lover. Okay. Or in the past, you could have been this person's lover. This wedding, union, whatever the case may be, could have come to some sort of end. And now they're trying to figure out how they're going to have a new beginning with you. What's the Ace of Wands for Aries? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles wanting to work towards this foundation, this stability, that type of thing. Uh, how would Aries view the Ten of Pentacles, Spirit? Two of Wands, this is your energy. And I really feel like you would consider it, uh, it's like planning or preparing to start a new cycle. I this is someone who that you know. Because you already have the Ace of Wands here, so now this is moving to the Two of Wands. On this particular Ace of Wands card, you know, just depending on how you perceive it, it's either growing or it's burning, that type of thing. And with the Two of Wands being here, he's focused on the world. Um, it is a new cycle that I feel like is opening up with a person, but I don't feel like it's brand new. You have these, the, now you have the Two of Wands here. Uh, what's the energy of the two of wands? You could have a stalker. This person could definitely be watching you. Wow. Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody's going to catch you off guard with some type of offer. It's going to be shocking. It's a stunning type of feeling, but I'm also feeling like you're going to have more than one offer. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who you work with. You could also have dealt with someone who lives at some sort of distance from you at some point as well. Um, those two people that I just named, I feel like are behind you. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Could be a Capricorn, a Gemini that you're dealing with. The devil is coming out, though, as an issue. Worldly comforts could be an issue uh, for yourself or this other person. One of you guys could be more financially stable than the other with the eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles here. This is an energy, you know, of where someone's still working very hard at their legacy and someone has a legacy already established or they're at least in the position to build some type of legacy. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles, though, this is your energy. You're being offered some type of comfort, some type of gain, some type of opportunity. Someone wants to spend some quality time with you. But the fact is, this person still is energetically tied to something or someone else, past behaviors, that sort of thing. What's the devil? The Four of Wands, yeah. Definitely one of these people, uh, there are multiple suitors, uh, Aries, but one of these people is married. How would Aries view the four of wands? Three of wands with the ten of cups, okay? So waiting on desired results. And it's crazy because now this is going back to that seven of wands energy with the four and the three here. You know, the seven of wands is about a level of like introspection going within. It's also a very challenging energy. Somebody's home life is a challenge right now. Um, I, I do see some movement. Somebody could be moving. Yeah, bottom of the deck, nine of nine of swords. 
definitely somebody's home life is a challenge. So you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. Be very mindful of the choices that you make. You know, one of them I feel like is going to be well off. One of these individuals that's coming towards you may have a lot of money. Uh, have a very good, this is not even like job. Like I'm feeling like somebody has a really successful career. But there's somebody else that's able to offer you some level of emotional contentment. Could be a Pisces, a Gemini, a Sagittarius. Um... Virgo. Why is the Ten of Cups here? As I say, Virgo, Knight of Pentacles comes out here. But this is a Knight. This is in and out. Why is the Knight here? Ace of Cups. Somebody definitely wants to start something brand new with you. There is one person, maybe two people that you have quite a history with. And you feel like you would be having like there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to take place with one of these people. A lot of letting go. There's another person who is just flat out not fucking available because they are married as fuck. Taken as fuck. Okay. And then there's a third person who I really feel like things didn't really get off to a start with this person. And they, I think that their emotions for you may end up catching you off guard. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Now, this is interesting because Sagittarius got some of the same... Uh, energy. This person could be younger than you, Aries. This person could have a child. But I also do feel like somebody most recently took... They took some type of... Uh, there's a new realization about what could be. So this is interesting. This person could be younger than you, but they could have a lot more than you. Because I'm looking at you, Queen of Wands, right? This is Aries energy. She's got her sunflower here. But she's in a very barren field. You know, like, although she's happy at home, you know, she has passion for the things that she's currently facing, doing, etc. There is growth. When I'm looking behind her... What she's lacking right now is quite literally emotional fulfillment. This person seems to have just the opposite. You know, it's like they do have some level of emotional fulfillment because they have, you know, e either like it's a studious energy. So this person could have gone to school. They could have some level of a degree. They could have just received their degree. Um, but this person is seeing the fruits of their labor. What they're challenged with is that they don't have anyone to share it with. Tell me about the soulmate. Page of Wands, King of Wands with the judgment. Definitely a reconciliation energy. There's going to be some sudden communication. But I do feel like there's some type of obstacle. This person's coming in from a distance. Somebody's traveling. You have King of Wands here. Again, this is still a very heavy uh, Leo vibration. Scorpio as well with Judgment being here. This is a rebirth of plans. So like I said, I'll say it again. Whoever this person is that is your true soulmate. This is someone who you did have some type of cycle with. This person could already have a family. You could receive some type of news from this person that they got a divorce, that they're available. I 
I do also feel like whoever this person is, though, they might still have a few suitors. What's judgment? Could even be a Sagittarius. Why is the magician here? Yeah, something changed about this person's position. I definitely hear a conversation, something, something, something. I just don't have what I need. I just don't have what I need. You're still tied to something because, I mean, you have the Capricorn card, the, the devil coming out as an issue. The magician is coming out as an issue. Like this person being able to sever ties with someone, you know, separate like their finances, manifest a new beginning. That type of thing is a bit of an issue for this person. When I ask why the magician is here, you have the hangman upright. Definitely their positioning has, their position has changed, but they can't move, if that makes sense. Yeah, you got the tower here. Yeah, I get a Rapunzel energy being trapped in some type of fortress. That's crazy because now I'm thinking back at... Um, the first message, which is about wages of war, somebody's position could have changed. They could have gotten some type of divorce or a separation, and this ended up affecting their finances. Because this, that's crazy. Because this, the Ten of Pentacles to the Page of Pentacles, somebody definitely could have gotten some type of demotion. What does Aries need to know about this situation? Ah, it's too many cards. What does Aries need to know about this situation? This kept wanting to come out. The Ace of Swords. Somebody losing their crown. Some sort of realization. Some truth that you're going to find out. Yeah, look. King of Swords. This person was married. This person was married or was in some type of committed relationship that is no longer. With the Ten of Wands, they released some type of burden. Uh, would Aries know what this burden is? How would they view this burden? Yep, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles here. Definitely you knew about this. Whoever this soulmate is, this is definitely your soulmate. Nine of Pentacles is a um single energy. Now, this is interesting because you have the Ten of Pentacles here. But I feel like this person had a chance or was trying to make the Ten of Pentacles work with someone else. There could have even been a child that ended up, ended up coming from this situation that they were in. With the Nine of Pentacles here, the Page of Pentacles, she is pregnant. This is a pre-Empress card. The Empress is the mother, okay? The Page is a child. And this offer, this child is making this complete. It is bringing this to a Ten of Pentacles vibration. Now... The Two of Pentacles is coming out, though. So this is letting me know that this is like two situations that are being juggled right now. Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This person is very much so dissatisfied. They chose the wrong cup. <laughs> that shit is not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Cross Watcher is going to be mad as fuck. This person chose the wrong cup, bro. They chose the wrong cup. And so because this is ordained, because I'm definitely feeling like th at, at one point or like this, this is supposed to happen. There's some sort of union that you're supposed to come into with this person with judgment being here. Like this is the angels stepping in. This person has gone through a very stressful time. Most recently, I'll be honest with you, you're going to see it all over their face. Um, they may look a little like rugged, 
Um, if it's a man, you know, you when you see them, they may not have shaved their face. They may have grown like in a beard, grown out their hair a little bit. If this is a woman, you know, and you're used to uh, this particular woman being like very groomed, like, you know, hair, nails done, that type of thing, you may see this person in more of a meek fashion, could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This person's situation changed. Mm hmm. It changed. Let's see. What's the outcome of this situation with the soulmate? Oh my fucking God. The King of Wands. And the King of Wands. I do see growth. Tell me. I. How would Aries view this outcome? Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is some type of victory, okay? Either to you or this particular person, there's some level of uh, persevering over the opponent. Now, y'all know I can't make this shit up. You have the Ace of Cups here twice. You have the King of Wands here twice. And that's crazy because now you have the Ace of Wands here twice. Now look at this. This Ace of Wands, right? It's kind of like God tried to give this opportunity to this person in the past and they didn't know what to do with it. It was like, are you going to let this burn or are you going to help it to grow? Now, right, this is a well-rooted sort of situation, which is what is being exhibited in the King of Wands card as well. It's like God was trying to give this opportunity to this person. Now this person's standing very firm in what it is that they want. This person could have been very fickle in the past, playful, playing, okay? What's the advice for Aries? Nothing will come of this situation. Tell me one more thing, Spirit. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. Tell me about the soulmate. It could be a Leo, guys. Full moon and Leo. Don't let pride get in the way. Oh, this is interesting. There's Leo written all over this, yo. What does Aries need to know about the suitors, the false suitors? Queen of Cups, one of them could definitely be a Cancerian, a Pisces, um, any of the other cardinal signs, a Libra, Capricorn, Aries like yourself. You could be dealing with another Aries, Capricorn. What else? Temperance, one of them could have it as an issue. One of them could have a, a drinking problem. Mm hmm. With the King of Cups here, definitely. Oh my fucking gosh. King of Cups, King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Wands. You're dealing with it. Somebody's dealing with a twin flame. And I told you that in the beginning. Like, this is my twin flame card. This came out in reverse. It's you, Aries. I really feel like, you know, you could be dealing with a soulmate and you could also be dealing with a twin flame. The seven of swords is out here again. This is double confirmation. Four of cups. Like, this is ridiculous to have two decks in the same energy. This is strong. This is strong as fuck. Let me pull one more card. Aries, I can't leave you like this. What's going on? What's the outcome in Aries love life? Free yourself. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. If you are, go watch the reading. Okay. Aries, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's your reading. These messages, I mean, this is double confirmation. And you know what? Just for the sake of it, I'm going to show you this two of swords because this is clearly a battle between two individuals over you. I feel like you're very much so blinded to. Um, this is going to catch you off guard. You may not see 
uh, these people coming. They may come in at the same time. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you were in one place with one of them and the other one end up walking through the dough. That's this energy right here, okay? But this is what I was talking about with the two of swords. It's, you know, it's an energy of decisiveness, indecisiveness. Now, interesting, I've never noticed this, but it almost looks like she has a peak or she is has the ability to peek underneath this blindfold. That's letting me know. I'm telling you, you know these people. You've seen them before. This is not a new person that um, you should have to make any type of major decision about. This is definitely about someone who you have some history with or some ones. Okay. Aries. Much love and light. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is down below. You can book on my website and there is a discount code for Black Friday. See you guys next time.